Leo tunaangalia hekima ya kupeleka familia hatua nyingine. Hatua nini? Unahitaji hekima kupeleka familia hatua ingi? nyingine. You need wisdom to take your family to the next level. What is the theme of the month? Through wisdom what? A house is what? It's meant. Family, familia ni mbegu ya kubadilisha vitu. Familia ni nini? Ndio maana mtu anasema nimepata mtoto, hiyo ni mbegu amepata. Hallelujah. The same the resemblance of the child mtoto amekuja nini? Na badilishe familia, ipate watu wengi. Na kila mzazi akilea mtoto ana, anakuwa na matumaini na yeye. Anaamini mtoto atakuja mbadilishie maisha siku moja. So every child, every family is a seed of change. Kila familia ni mbegu ya nini? Ya mabadiliko. Na ukiangalia inafaa ikuwe katika every generation. Every generation. Kama umetoka katika familia yenye kuna changamoto, nataka kukwambia leo unaweza badilisha familia yako katika jina la Yesu. Unaweza badilisha nini? Familia yako katika jina la Yesu. You can change your family. You can. It doesn't matter your age. Haijalishi umri wako, unaweza badilisha familia yako. You can change your family because wewe ni mbegu ya kubadilisha hiyo generation nyingine. Kama ulilala njaa, ensure ufanye kazi watu wako wasilale njaa. I didn't come from a very well off family. Thank God my wife came from a blessed family. My father was a military guy akapoteza kazi kama sini wadogo tukanda kuishi kwa kijiji yes class 6 class 7 class 8 from one i didn't go to school on time niliuza mandazi sunshine secondary school langata i remember nikikuwa natembea i took myself to form one second term yes i was all born with benny My wife has seen where we came from. But I knew, nilijua mimi ni mbegu. Mimi ni nini? I can change my life. Kama mama aende nyumbani, niko ni aende mbinguni. I address money to take her to London for holiday. The same mama who used to suffer for me, carry things for me, cook for me. What are you doing for your family? Unafanya nini familia yako? Unasema unapenda mama yako? Unasema unapenda watoto wako, unasema unapenda pale unalekea, but what are you doing? Wewe ni mbegu inaweza leta mabadiliko. Lakini hiyo mabadiliko kukuja you must know, you must go for wisdom. Lazima uende nini? Hekima. I am blessed man right now, blessed. We are working at my wife hoping that one day we will hire chefs for our parents. Before they go to heaven, we they will have chefs who cook for them from morning till night. Yes, that's what we are believing God for. Because pastors yetu wamepitia. There's no need of telling us mamanga wamepitia, babanga wamepitia. But what are you doing concerning it? What are you doing? Your paragraph is not important. Your history is not important. Your importance is your future. Pali unaenda ni kitu maana. You must know you are a seed. Unafaa ujoe ni mbegu katika familia yako. And hiyo mbegu itatoboa tu ukikuwa na heki hekima. There's no shortcut for it. I told my mother I will take care of you. And I sometimes I tell her I wish she was around. That woman will not have suffered. Blessed man. But remember, siku zaliwa na ipe. Eh pesa sikuwa nayo. Nikutana na mkiango atakuwa na pesa nyingi kuniliko. Mimi nilikuwa yule mjamaa. Hallelujah, the dream guy. Nilikuwa natembea kutoka kazini ni save ni nwe shamba. I bought my first property when I was 24. As a neighbor, how old are you? What do you have? You don't have a seed mind. Au na akili ya mbegu. Mbegu inafaa itoe mazao mazao mpya. That's the that's the wisdom you need. Stop complaining about your father. Stop complaining about your mother. My brother, if you fail is your fault. If you succeed is your fault. Tell your neighbor if you fail is your fault. If you succeed is your fault. Ukitoba maisha yako ni makosa yako. Usipotoba pia ni makosa yako. It has nothing to do with your roots. My father has nothing to do with my success. 
I called him this week, talk to him. And after talk to him, I always send him Mpesa. After talking, he always knows when I get this man on call, I'll get Mpesa. <laughs> you, when your mother calls you, what do you send? You send trouble, fire. You don't have a seed mentality. Stop living. Wachakushi. Lazima watukua na mama kushugulikie. Baba kushugulikie. Wasipokuwa. And I want you to ask God today for wisdom. Nataka leo utiche mungu wa kima. That I must be a different seed in Jesus name. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. Metal in the Saba. Ya family, family yako imekuwa na shida ya ndoa, ya masomo, eh? Ya pesa, ya akili. Nataka wewe uko uta, mbegu tofauti katika jina la Yesu. Ambe jina lako utakuwa mbegu tofauti. You must be different. Hey, niliona shida yetu kwa familia ya pesa iko, tumesoma watu kwa na akili lakini hakuna. I say I'll be different, I'll be different. I'll be different. Till now, I don't even survive with the ministry. I am blessed now. Now, I see myself as a seed. Jione kama mbe? We nile mbe gutena ibadilishe familia. Kama kuna kitumbaye likuwe na mea kwa yobu familia. We no tanda wikate, no weke nji? Njine. Very important. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. Metali nine saba. Nasema vipi? 1, 2, 3, go. Bora ya hekima, mm -hmm. basi jipatie hekima. Mm -hmm. Namu, kwa mapato yako, yote jipatie ufahamu. Jipatie. Bora hekima, basi jipatie nini? Give yourself wisdom. Take wisdom, my friend. Enda mchukwe hekima. Go take wisdom, not knowledge. It's not talking about knowledge here. You can be a graduate, but a failure. Go for wisdom. I tell this young man, go wisdom. Wisdom is not the main thing. And there, Kima, Jipatia, Kima. No, make your quick water fauti. Kill a mutton a summer, kill a mutton a maliza shule, tafautiako na yao nini. Wisdom. He Kima nini, he Kima ni tafauti a watu. He Kima nini, he Kima ni tafauti a pahali. He Kima nini, he Kima ni tafauti a mahali paliwatu wako. It's not knowledge. Are we clear? Nikiona nyumba yako ni nangalia ekima. Nikiona tobi yako naona ekima. Siangali masomo yako. No one has ever asked me where I graduated from. They are amazed by the wisdom I have. Get wisdom. Without that getting, get understanding. Wisdom. Ekima itakufanyo kuwe mbegu tafauti kwa familia yako. Wacha kulia shida. Oh, mabangu shida. Baba yangu shida. Babu yangu shida. Ah ah. Go for wisdom. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. Mubiri Saba, kuminambili. I pray that issue in your family will come to an end in Jesus' mighty name. Yo shida ka familia kwa itakuja kikomba katika jina la yes. Ecclesiastes 7 12. What does it say? Kumana hekima ni ulinzi. Kama vile feather ilivi ulinzi. Na ubora wa matai marifa ni ya kwamba hekima humifadhi ye alie nae. Umesikia? Hekima ni nini? Ulinzi. Na pia feather. Wengi wetu tuatafuta feather, atafuta hekima. Feather bila hekima imepotea. Umeleku tumesema? Feather bila hekima imefana nini? Ukikuwa na hekima umekuwa na ulinzi. Umejijenga, umejizuhia kwa mambo tofauti. Ninaambia atita kuwa tukubi. We will not just grow. We need wisdom to grow. Ah. Ambe jina kwa naomba utafute ikima. Eh. Wisdom is a defense. Money also is a defense. But with all, look for wisdom. Look for what? Utafute ikima. Ndomana unakuja kanisani. Ndomana tunamafunzo hapa. Go for wisdom. Church time is not wasting time. You don't need to come with offering or anything. Come to be blessed. Come to be transformed. Kujo badilike. Kitu ni badilike kundani. Kukuja kwa ukristo. Munafa ujue kanisa ni pali kuma mafunzo ya nafanywa. Mafu. Na yo mafunzo ndo ekima yunaitaji. Most of you church time is time to sleep. Wisdom is a defense. 
Money is at the first. But comparing with those two, go for wisdom. Don't go for money. Mimi na mkiangu tikikutana umesema ni tuanga Central Park kama nini? Ni Central Park. Hiyo karibu na Laiko Origins. Leana na eh. Mali yetu yote ilikuwa 1030 na nini? Wewe una kuanga accountant. Mm. Eh? Na kitu hapo. Nikamwambia hii pesa ni nyingi sana. Inahitajika ni yaki? Hata kabla tuone hiyo mwaka kuona tukanunua shamba nyingine. You are blessed. Wisdom is everything you need. Wisdom. Wisdom. Not money. Wisdom. Family changes by wisdom. Mbegi yako itakuwa tafauti kiwapa eki? Hekima. 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 Metali kumina nani? Msali ya kwanza. Meyu, naomba utasonga upaju katika jina la yesu. Naomba utasonga mbele katika jina la yesu. Tafuta eki? With all your getting look for wisdom. Most of you, you don't need to come to church with money. If you have any half of or not, come to church, get the wisdom. That's what you need. Get the wisdom. If you have give, if you don't have, you get the wisdom. Are we clear? You are a king of the Wisdom is what you need. Wisdom. Huh? Proverbs 18.1 ajitengaye na wenzake utafuta matakwa mm. yake mwenyewe mm. ushindana na kila shauri jema mm. anashindana kila jawa shauri nini he says this one he says a man who has less himself seeks his own desire he rages against all wise judgment my version in asema nini through desire a man having separated himself seeketh and intermingles with all wisdom hey then namambenga I am, I am thinking now. It's my th every day I think. I don't want to be on phone. Even at the time you You knock the door and say, I'm thinking. Don't get out. I'm thinking. Thinking. Not talking. Thinking. Not reading. Thinking. Not praying. Thinking. Wisdom. I am thinking with all the knowledge I have. What am I doing wrong? Mwela kinasema. Kwa yote na juwa, nini inafanya mbaya? Thinking every day, I must think. Every day. Every day. Unataka kusonga mbele? Leza jilako, unataka kusonga mbele? Hame kwambia nini? Hame kwambia ndiyo? Tafuta eki? Coming, learning this way, the way you are learning today to transform you. There is nothing called problem. We create problems. Hame jilako, hakuna kitu nito shida. Wendo unajeleta shida. <laughs> Kama kuna mtu anaweza nua gari ya 18 million na ana shida. Wewe unasema hiyo pesa ya iko? There is money. I told you my son, if you are poor is your fault. Don't say daddy God Mungu acha kufanya uko maskini. Wewe ndio ulikuwa unataka kwa maskini. Na ukitaka utaka kwa maskini, tafuta hikima. Tafuta nini? Young man calls me every week and asks me, "Sir, what is it that you know that I don't know?" I say, do this and this. Cut the phone and watch. Or ask yourself, what will I do? I make one of it to Kianza. All we have here, we have never borrowed. And we will not borrow to build that church. We will not borrow to build that church. I'm telling you, we will not borrow to build that church. Wisdom will build the house. By wisdom, a house is built. By wisdom! Nataka urudi nyumbani na unasira. Yanyo unawana ikufraishi. Kachi ni ujulize. Ni ekima gani sina hapa. Umelela kita sema. Tafuta yo ekima. Pata sunui. Kazi ziko. Name kambia kazi ya ziko. You are just hanging out with the wrong people. Kila mtu wa rafiki yako ni shida. Shida. Ukikanda matajiri wa shida. <laughs> I have rich friends. I was telling my wife. I have clients. <laughs> they say. Did you get that hundred million? Huh? I just got a contract with Standard Charter that was supposed to send them 500 million. Will you wire it for me? I will send you next week. Will you wire for me 500 million? I will send you the rest next week. 
Awasilinga zangine na kanga chini nasema he na mtu hapa na believe mu God for 1000 mwingine na believe God for 500 million irony of life irony of life man irony i was telling i have, I have very heavy friends money they have money my friend you are complaining about shoe they are talking about car the way i sent you to pick those of us that guy that guy has changed cars three times alinunua prado akasema apendi vinyo prado na guruma akanunua jaguar akasema ai hii jaguar inamkunywa mafuta imsaidii sana akaenda kununua land rover akauza zingine zote all of them new number plates nikamuliza where did you get this tender say don't worry abram money is in kenya hi money is in kenya mm, okay money is in kenya too yeah i'm agreeing with you <laughs> for wisdom not knowledge if you look at his certificate kangalia basha yake sasa tamesoma sana wisdom different big differences and they kiba you will be different i pray one of you one day will write a check of 100 million Amen. as offering in jesus name Amen. it is possible Amen. it is possible I just want to share this testimony on behalf of my wife. I know we are not supposed to say it, but I was just thinking about it. Before nikaza maisha tuko tambia Mungu to pay an eighth. Hata kana sapato kana eighth. An eighth to Mungu utakushukuru sana. Can eh? Eighth. Yaani umeisikia unataka an eighth? Yaani Mungu tu nikape can eighth hapa Nairobi ndakwambia Bwana asifi. Reason me and my wife God blessed us. We got over 30 acres somewhere. Hallelujah. God blessed us. We, did, we walked until we were tired. I was showing you. God gives you at the level of wisdom, not at the level of knowledge. May you go for wisdom in Jesus' name. And those are tafuta ekima. And kanamze wako, kanamke wako. Sit down and look at everything. Think. May God give you wisdom. 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 <laughs> Let me give you an example of a family. What's your family? An example of a family is the family of terror. The family of who? If familia ya terror ilikuwa na shida. Lakini mbegu yake nilileta mabadili mabadiliko. Katika mwanzo 11 wa mstari wa 26 hadi 32. Angalia na usiseme ati watu wengine walizaliwa na bahati, hakuna mtu alizaliwa na bahati. Wewe unaweza leta bahati ya watoto wa You can make sure your children don't struggle the way you struggled. Have good friends. Are you clear? Go for wisdom. It will draw for you good people. <laughs> ah, sorry. You to me and Adobe Expressway week for the first time. So I went to Nikalipe yo, netwa ni ETC direct. The one you just do you don't pay cash. So niko na drive nikaangalia zile magari zikoza na nipita hapo kwa hiyo barabara nikasema Kenya is very unfair amen very what eh, very unfair nikasema hizi zinapita hapo hizi ni relationships relationships you can complain unaweza teta ulani hata babako useme babako alikuwa wapi Kenya hata kinunua shamba kwani alikuwa disco utapiga makina yako yote utasema nyanyaye alifanya sijui nini sijui niliachwa It's not their fault. It is you to take responsibility. Tell your neighbor take responsibility. Take what? Take responsibility. If you don't take responsibility. Let us look at Genesis. Genesis chapter 11 verse 5 verse 26 to 32. Yesema hivi. Mhm. Tera akaishi miaka sabini. Uh -huh. Akamzaa Abraham uh -huh. na Nahori uh -huh. na Harani. Uh -huh. Na hivi ndivyo vizazi vya Tera. Tera akamzaa Abraham na Nahori na Harani. Uh -huh. Harani akamzaa Lutu. Harani akafa kabla ya baba yake Tera katika nchi aliyozaliwa, yani katika uru wa Kaldayo. Abraham na Nahori wakajitwalia wake. Jina la mkewe Abramu aliitwa Sarai na jina la mkewe Nahori aliitwa Milka binti Harani ambaye alikuwa baba wa Milka na wa Iska. 
na Sarai alikuwa tasa hakuwa na mtoto tena akampua Abrahamu mwanawe na Lutu mwana wa Harani mwana wa, wa mwanawe na Sarai mkwe mke wa Abrahamu mwanawe wakatoka wote wakatoka wote katika Uru na Kaldayo waende nchi ya Kanani wakafika mpaka Harani wakakaa huko siku za tera zilikuwa miaka miambili na mitano tera akafa katika Harani ni nini umesikia juu ya tera hapo nothing tera aliza akaishi na kakua na familia akakufa liza jirani yako unataka kuza uishi alafu kufe that's a very bad seed ini begumbaya kabisa yani ishi ikule chakula izae tu yani izae ishi alafu ikufe nothing left nothing ambia jilako na kuombe hau tazaa tu uishi alafu ukufe mi bora naishi wanafunga hapo nasema hivyo mi bora nai it's a small mindset there's how to live also there's also how to live naoma ule ukitoka uende nyumbani utakuwa tofauti katika jina la Yesu kaenda waambie Mungu akupe hekima usiwe kama tera lakini angalia mbegu ikabadilishwa Abraham Abraham came and accepted the Lord akaacha kuitwa Abraham akaitwa Abraham is it true the beginning of changing mbegu yako inabadilika ukianza kumkubali nani mu na njia za Mungu the moment alimkubali Mungu let us let me show you what happened Genesis chapter 18 verse 18 angalia kitu kilibadilika mbegu zilianza kubadilika na uangalia vinyi tasonga ndio utaelewa wewe leo ukichapua ukichukua hatua mtoto wako achukua hatua watoto wako watoto watoto wako achukua hatua hiyo familia inaweza badilika yote yote kabisa yote kabisa hata kama ukupanda ndege mtoto wako atapanda ndege na mwenye watoto wako kishapanda ndege watoto watoto wako watakuwa napanda mandege it starts with you it starts with you go for wisdom Genesis 18:18 What does it say? Akiwa Ibrahimu mm-hmm. atakuwa taifa ku mm-hmm. hodari mm-hmm. na katika yeye mataifa yote ya dunia watabarikiwa. Ali atakuwa taifa nini? Taifa ku. Taifa ku na hodari. The acceptance of Christ change Abraham's seed. Kuna mbegu zenye watu wanasema hii ni mbegu mbaya. Ni sawa. But the moment you accept Christ, your seed changes. Your DNA changes. Your RNA changes. Whatever it is changes. Amen. Inabadilika. Inabadilika. I never the first time I received a check of 20,000 I was telling her as a joke. I never banked that check. <laughs> I remember I called you. Hey, ilikuwa mara yangu kwanza kupata 20,000 siku bank yo check. Nilikaa na paka mabango kauniuliza utabank yo check? Nikamwambia, "Hey, wacha niangalie kwanza 20,000 mimi." Hey. Because in my family I have never seen 20,000. I had never seen 20000 like this ndana hesabu 1 but the moment I accepted Christ things are changing for me may things change for you in Jesus mighty name naomba mambo yabadilike kwa familia yako katika jina la Yesu the moment you are accepting your seed changes na na sema kuja kanisa it should not be an option coming to church you are hanging out with friends what are they adding to you are they giving you wisdom They're not giving you wisdom, they're giving you knowledge. Wisdom is found in God, not knowledge. That's why the same hiyo Biblia wameshina kukubiria tangu Sunday school. Leo ukisikia unasikia tofauti. Hiyo ni hekima. Hiyo ni nini? Hekima. And when the mbegu ya Abraham ilibadilishwa, nini ilifanyika ya pili? Angalia kwenye Isaac alikuwa katika mwanzo 26, 12:13. Genesis 26 12 to 13 Naomba utakuwa tofauti katika jina la Yesu. Amen. You will be different. Amen. Hey, tell your neighbor utakuwa tofauti. Utakuwa tofauti. Tafuta hekima. God should never be an option. Should be always the first option. Are we clear? Nisikia msanangu akinambia Dickens alikuwa anamfundisha the grace kwa Biblia. Wakitoka shule nikasema God, Dickens is teaching you the grace. Say so, yes. 
I said, I told her, that is wisdom. It is what? Wisdom. It's not knowledge. It's wisdom. Knowledge is what you learn in school. One plus one. Whatever. Wisdom. It will build you. Huh? Genesis 26. What is it? Isaka akapanda mbegu mm -hmm. katika nchi ile mm -hmm. akapata mwaka ule vipimo mia kwa kimoja mm -hmm. bwana akambariki mm -hmm. na mtu huyu akawa mkuu akazidi kustawi mm -hmm. hata akawa mkuu sana akakuwa mkuu nini aya abraham alikuwa mkuu isaka akakuwa mkuu kina kitu inabadilika because abraham found god abraham alipata mungu kwanza akapeyo mungu wa isaka si ndio Isaac akakuwa mkuu mkuu tupeke alikuwa mkuu nini sana haya tuangalie mimi nilifanyika na Jacob amen Genesis 30 verse 43 ona kila kitu kinabadilika wewe ungependa watoto wako umia vyenye umia then what kind of parent are you being do you want to go through what your parents went through then what kind of christian are you you are taking god as a casualty you will be surprised what will happen to you Ah, Genesis 43. Kwa hiyo mtu huyo akazidi mno mm. akawa na wanyama wengi mm. na vitakazi mm. na watumwa na ngamia na punda. A, Jacob alizidi nini? Mno. Yeye akakuwa mkuu, alizidi nini? Mno. Alizidika kuliko hata babu yake, kuliko baba yake. Please. You want a change of story? Unataka kuchapa watu wengine kwa familia? You need wisdom. Na nimwambia ikime inapatika wapi? Kwa Mungu. From God. What I know is a result of wisdom. That's why hata tutanga kiongea sasa kile mnyamaza tu. Naangalia wakimaliza naambia umemaliza? Haya sawa. Wasingine wanodi wanasema did you do the right thing? I say you, you because you never ask for wisdom. Let me keep quiet. You gave me your knowledge. Ambe jina lako kuanzia leo utazidi zaidi utakuwa mkuu utakuwa mkuu zaidi ukitaka familia yako ibadilike anza wewe tera hakuna Kenya lipe Abraham tera alikula akaishi akaku lakini Abraham kuna kitu alipe Isaac Isaac akapatia nija kuiendelea hivyo hiyo mbegu iliendelea hivyo sababu so, hekima ya Mungu ilikuwa ndani watoto wanaambiwa kuje maombi huu unaeka mtoto kwa nyumba You have youths, you have teenagers. People are coming to serve God. Wanakuja, wana learn. Wako nazunguka, zunguka. Tell me the truth. I'm not against what they do. But what they are doing, itapeleka wapi? I'm not against you. Sikatai kwa na raha, lakini itakupeleka wapi? Kikomo ni wapi? Mwisho ni wapi? Mwisho ni wapi? When you could have general kwa dogo sana kwambia you want to make it follow God with your heart there's no shortcut here Henry alikuwa anataka kucheza rugby ama ni Dickens nani anataka kucheza rugby eh ni wewe nawaambia Henry wewe ni rugby yako the way i know you can play that rugby but without God there's nothing in this part of world this part of world even rugby players go to school is it true This four rugby player what is he called there is the one who's a doctor what is he the big guy what yanje something like that huh eh? he's a doctor i read their profiles wewe mtotoka unaambia wewe cheza tumpira cheza rugby cheza tennis utakuwa mtu wa maana ni sawa utakutana naye naambia kunaendeleaje mungu ananisaidia na miguu zangu naambia haya tuendelee you have not changed the seed yet Badilisha mbe na mbegu na badilisha ni number one ukimpe hekima ya Mungu that's the first way to change the seed you want to change my seed i give them god i give them god not school i give them god i give you god i cannot change you because but i can give you god who will change you Amen. Mungu ndiye anakubadilisha kwanza aya nani anapenda mbegu ya familia yao wale ametoka hebu nione mkono wako Uno si all of you are quiet. Kwenu nyumbani hata mna nyumbani. Nyumba jimwangani jai jengwa. Mkiona nyumbani mnakutananga tu saa shida. Amutane saa furaha ati ngombe meilua roto hakuna. Andio umekaa tu. Bana majeshi leo hainaliwe. 
Kesho, I'll go kanisani. You can't come for prayer. My friend, who are you fooling? You will not take my shako badilike. Plant the seed of wisdom by accepting God and being with God. Mungu na napana eki matafau. Nili mambia ata tupeleke mtoto shule ina gani. The child will not change if you don't find God. No, the child will not change. Mungu na naanza. Mama na naskia na mtoto memory verse. Memory verse. Na mambia yes. Watch a juwezo memory verse. When he, she is old, hizo maneno anajua kwa kisho ni tamsaidia. The memory verses. Asa we ni mama, we ni mze, ata ujui memory verse yote. Niza jirani yako, nipe memory verse moja. You can see what kind of seed you are planting. Be serious with God, my friends. Unajua, inajua imeandikwa kwa kitabu moja. Kwa kitabu moja, bibili imeandikwa. Which kitabu? Which verse? Lawyers go to court, they quote the constitution, the paragraph, and the line. Are we clear? Hey, hey, that's how you win a case. Teach your children memory verse. Niliambia wanaume hapa mwanze family altar. Siju kama mulianza? Kila siku yusiku watoto wako wasome ukue ukose kuwa. Bibi ya shikia bibili ya funze watoto wako memory verse. Ya ya kata hiki usikia shauri zake lakini ya some. Kama hata hiki watoto wako for the sake of your children. Nikose ya kukua kwa nyumba ama nikose lazima mama wafanye family altar. Ap, yo na juanga ni simu na piguanga. Your children must learn the Bible. That is wisdom. That is what? One of them menya maza leo. Na waguza, eh? Asa munipigia makofi kama unanipenda basi. There's no, 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 there's nothing here. You don't make it by wishing. Autoboy tu sabu mwata atmini mkristo apana. Unachukua jukumu. Unasonga mele. Take responsibility. Haya. How do we get this wisdom? Tunaipata aje hifa. Tunaipata aje hiye kima. Number one. Number ya kwanza. How do we get this wisdom? Number one. Possess a forward mindset. Kwa na akili ya kusonga mbe? Kama una akili ya kusonga mbele kwa mwesha yako, utadharo manu na mungu. You think coming to church is a waste of time. So I can make it when I'm outside there. You will not make it when you're outside there. You will be making it and suffering pain. In Christ, there's no pain when you're making it. Are we clear? There's no rejection when you're making it. Eh, utakuwa na peso kwa lakini kwa na maugonjo. Utakuwa na peso kwa lakini na umia. Kwa na kili ya kusonga mbe? That's the first thing. Leo kia mua nataka kusonga mbele. Mimi. Kama ya kijana, utarudu shule usome. Kama ya ni mwanaume, utanda ufanye kazi. Kama ya ni mwanaumke, utatafuta kitu ufanye. Women support your husbands. Not with money, but even with your head. Kuna manamuke wezi muliza hata kitu wakwambie. Amekatu ndi ni flat graph. Do something. Na muliza ya kilasa, are you kind of woman I can ask you for cancer and you give me cancer? Yes. Develop yourself. Ni kuliza kitu wanyambia sasa yu ni nini? Ah, I will never ask you again. Utasa kusema mzea kwa na mpango. Mpango sabu kichu wako, ukiliza kitu wate ni flat. Trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
poverty mentality. Especially in the na wanawake. Na jua mta furaya lakini tuambia. Nyinyi wanawake ndio mnaumiza wanaume wenu. Umekaa kwa nyumba hakuna kitu unafanya? Unahesabu vidole. Tafuta kitu ufanye. Men empower your wives to do something. Huyu ni wangu anapenda kazi, anambia enda kazini. Nataka biashara fanya. Empower them. Hiyo familia ukipata mwanamke asonge mbele, haitasonga mbele. Au utanunua hata kiti mpya? Au utanunua hata bedsheet mpya? Unasema tunasema empower your women. If you want a good blanket. Dickens you are yet to get married. You want a good mattress like mine, a big bed like mine. Get a woman who you have empowered. Wacha tena kwa kwa nyumba. You can sit at home and also do something. Is it true? Hiyo tunaweza tengeleza beads na uze, si ndio? Yes. The women around here sit at home wait for their husbands to bring food. Nimuuliza wengine, unafanya nga nini? Hakuna. Mzee mzali enda kazini mimi namongojea rudi. Eh? Unamongojea rudi. Mzee ndio rent? Mzee ndio chakula. Mzee ni nini tena? Mzee ndio stima, yeye ndio Kenya Power. Mzee ni nini? Mzee ni mafuta, yeye ndio Total. Mzee ni nini tena? Mzee ndio school fees. Mzee ni nini? Mzee ndio nywele. Mzee ni nini? Mzee ndio Safaricom. Mzee ndio simu. Mzee ni nini tena? Si ataanza kuiba haki. You are stressing the man. Hata kama atafuta Mungu atachana na Mungu. Wewe kazi yako utafuta mtu kwa huduma, akokie mkono. Kwa nyumba yako kunaona kuna shida, kwa shida mzee. Do something. Wives, do something. I know you don't like me but it's okay. I told you I'm not a pastor. A pastor is the one who tells you what you want to hear. Are we clear? I'm not a pastor to come and tell you what you want. Sasa kwambie ni unataka kusikia. I'll tell you the Bible. Aya, mko aya siko na danganya Second Corinthians. Soma wewe uniambie nataka wanawake wasome weka chini kwanza. Wanawake ndio wasome. Second Corinthians 9:2. Aya, maana ya najua? Eh hey, wanawake mko hapa. Tusome 1 2 3 go. Ni? Nao jisifia kwa kwa wamekondea kwamba akaya ilikuwa na bidii yenu when me bidii yenu the desire to move forward when you nafanya kazi hapa sababu nataka tusonge mbele songe mbele this is not our level hapa imekuwa ndogo we need to move forward is it true and i need to work hard don't marry your wife and keep her at home she's not a trophy she's your wife It's a family. We need to move the family forward. Is it true? Wisdom. We have a business with my wife running. But we have done a system where it runs, but she does whatever she needs to do. I do whatever I need to do. We have the business running. First of all, Dickens is running it for us. So now, now we have. Dickens is not running the business. He has also something to do. Are we clear? Kuna biashara tunakimbiza na yetangu kitambo kabla hata ze kazi. But ataenda kazi biashara iendelee mimi niendelee na, na biashara iende mbe mimi nimeka na biangu tunafanya biashara pamoja mimi na yeye Mungu atatusaidia bring something i bring something we put together we build a house is it true ada squeeze wanawake wa india wameanza kwenda kazi they used to be housewives nowadays it is changing is it true asa kama wewe ndo safaricom wewe ndo airtel wewe ndo telecom Please don't take me there in Jesus' name. Huh? Hallelujah. Uh, one of them is in Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In English it says, I know that the forwardness of your mind. The forwardness of your what? The forwardness of your mind. Akili yako inataka kusonga mbele. Sana. Utasonga mbele. Wacha kuwaka kila kitu. Kwa mtu mboja. Your work is not only to give birth and raise children. Utafanya msana wako atakuwa hivyo atatafuta ata mwanaume mwenye atampatia vitu. Atajua kazi nini? Kazi ni nini? Okay. If mkianda nyumbani muendelee hivyo ni shauri zenu huko but I've told you the truth. Clap for me. Women clap for me. I want women to clap for me. So I can know if women are still love me. 
<laughs> Number two, stop blaming the devil. Nani hapa anasema ni shetani? Hai hii kazi ya shetani yaki. Shetani ameleta maskini. Wacha kulaumu shetani. Ukilaumu shetani, you are belittling the power of the cross. Unadharau kazi ya Yesu katika msalabani. The devil has no power over you the moment you accept Christ. Are we clear? Shetani ana nguvu jokos the moment unakubali nani ye? Ana nguvu. Stop blaming the devil. We get ni shetani, ni shetani. Then what did Jesus do on the cross? Okay, what did Jesus do on the cross? Ask your neighbor what did Jesus do on the cross? The devil has no authority. You have authority over the devil. The devil is under your feet. Hey. Wacha kitu kidogo au ni shetani, au ni shetani. Mbona huyu shetani unamhubiri sana kuliko Mungu? Kitu kidogo shetani. Ni shetani ndio amekuja. Shetani ndio ameingilia mtu. Shetani ndio ameondoka. Ai, shetani ndio ameketi hapa. Yana shetani ndio yule anakuja. Shetani ni jirani yangu. Wengine hata kwa shetani ni jirani yao. Why you belittling the work of the cross? Mbona unadharau kazi ya msalaba? Mbona unaidharau alikufa msalabani, si ndio? John chapter 19 verse 30. Yohana 19:30 na 30. Aliuliza Yesu Mungu Akielekea nini? Alibebea nani msalaba nani? Salibebea wewe na mimi. Shetani alikuwa hapo. Mbona unakubali shetani na kae katika familia yako? Kitu kidogo shetani, shetani ndio ameingia, shetani ndio hiyo. Alibeba msalaba aka nini? Akielekea kule. Alikufa sababu yako. Inasema ni John 19:30. What does it say? Ndio tuombe. I hope leo mmebarikiwa. Go and of kile kitu nakwambia hii. Hii ndio solution. Ah, yes, Basi Yesu alipokwisha kuipokea ile siki hmm. alisema imekwisha. Alisema nini? Imekwisha. Alisema nini? Imekwisha. Imekwisha. Nini imeisha? Umaskini imeisha. Ugonjwa imeisha. Kila kitu ime nini? Imeisha. Basi mbona unarudisha na amesema imeisha? Why are you bringing it back? You are not poor. Ameja yako habari yako my friend. Mwambie habari yako tajiri. Na sia kukunulia kuku. Mbona uambie jirani yako na sia kumulia kuku? Hey! It's over. It's finished. It's finished. Ai nimemwambia unaweza pata mhubiri maskini sababu afuate hekima. Afuate nini? Kazi yake ni kutembelea washirika waambie munipe chakula. Lazima munipikie. Munitumanie mpesa. For what? Lack of wisdom. No mana lazima ulipishwe ndo muombewe. No mana lazima ulipishwe wa hudumiwe. Why are you paying for something that was done? That was done. You are paying for work that was finished. Unalipa kazi yenye liisha. Uliwekwa uru. Uliwekwa uru kitambo. You don't need to pay anyone for anything. Unless I'm reading a different Bible. Isa jiranako, unapenda kuombea kwa nini? na kazi lisha Liza jirani mbona unataka kwamba nyinyi ndo mnaendaka kuombea mwambie jirani mbona unapenda kuombea na kazi lisha Stop blaming the devil for your family problems Take responsibility Wacha kumshushu kwamba ni shetani shetani There is no one who has power over you Have you clear As much in Christ no one has power over you Oh my god Number three. Tafuta Go for knowledge. Tafuta nini? Nisoe kima nini? Marifa. Go for knowledge. Go for what? Awezi fuza nye ujui. Sindio? Mimi si jengi. Dikensa na nasaidia kujenga hapa. Mimi si omtu wa IT. Nikikuwa atale chote na pigia Henry. Wawu wata kufuza mtoto wako kusonga mbele na wewe usongi mbele. How do you teach a child what you don't know? How? You. Can I teach you IT? And I don't know IT. You start telling me some uh, Python, whatever, whatever. Minta lelo nyonyo nyambia. Tukambia nyoka tena kwa computer. 
Kwa hivyo ni mnaambia fuzo tutoka amka wende kanisani wewe uamki kwenda kanisani. Anza kuomba wewe mwenyewe uombi. Fanya bidii shule wewe mwenyewe ufanye bidii. Go for knowledge my friend. Go for knowledge. I come I must be an example to her and my children before I tell them to do it. Ni ufanya kazi. Ah ninaambia hata kwa nyumba. Nani mnaona hapa ni mvivu? Hakuna. So kila mtu anafanya kazi? Sawa. You do your job. I do my job. Life moves on. Unaambia mtoto aache moshe naye. Wewe ndio unapiga moshe? Anambia jina lako nakuombea sana eh. Wewe nakuombea. Hosea 4:6. Angalia hii. Usipokuwa na hii, watoto wako wataumia. Hiyo mbegu itasonga mbele. Niko naambia mama, nilifanya jana kuna watoto wako walikuja mbapi George? I was so happy. Na waliomba. Hey, kwanza kuna mmoja andikuwa ame hey the girl can pray can pray i was impressed siko njia watu tuanza kuomba hivyo they can pray walikuwa wanafanya intercession nyinyi tunambenga muombe mnaniangalia hivi hao wanafunga macho wanaomba i think next time i should record a video i show you unaambia mtu mkubwa aombe so pastor maliza sasha tuambia tuombe mimi nimeomba kwa moyo moyo yangu they were lifting their hands i told them enoa mikono mshukuru mungu they lifted their hands and worship god I I was moved yesterday. I watoto waliniguza. They kept they were lifting their hands worshiping. I was impressed. Mtu mkubwa mwambie, "Omba." Pastor, naja tulishasikia mahubiri, si tushaomba kwa moyo wetu. Mungu ametuji. Wazaya 4 verse 6. Watu wangu wanaangamizwa kwa kukosa maarifa. Hata nadhani tusome sisi wote ka chini. Tusome 1 2 3 go. Aya kwa hiyo tutakuwa nasahaulika. Sasa una maarifa, kwa nini unasahaulika? Unasema utaomba kuanzia leo paka kesho. Nibona watu wamefunga siku 40 na wajasonga mbele. Walimaliza kufunga na wakakufa kwanza nyingine. What are you fasting go for knowledge first? Fast with knowledge. Fast with what? With knowledge. Hadi mimi nimeomba, nimeenda kwa mlima. Haya, ukishuka utatupata tu hapa economy ile ile, ukishuka utatupata hivi. KPC ni ile ile. Unafanya nini kwa mlima? Come down, go for knowledge. Marifa. Knowledge is power. We set your children free. Ukiteka watoto wako wakumbukwe. Tafuta nini? Go for knowledge. Hey. Read. <laughs> read. I read for my children. I'm not lying to you. I read for them. I read for you guys. Na aswa manga sabi Na ukikuja kwa kwa George kwa ofisi. Unana tunafungwa bibilia. I read for you. Ndele usisaulike. Bani kikwambia nimeenda kwa mlima misiku 100. Pastor yuko alienda api kwa mlima. Amerudi. Anafa nakwambia my friend, toa mbegu alafu Mungu atakubariki. Mungu kwa mlima aliniambia ukitoa mbegu wewe acha kunikon. God already did everything for me. Ona vile mnyamaza. Amen boss. Nani hapa anataka watoto wake wasaulike? Aliza jana yako kwa nini uendee marifa? Muulize kwa nini uendee marifa? Muulize unasoma kitabu ina gani? No one is reading. Hata Biblia hawana, uliza jina kuna Biblia. Na ulisoma mwisho wapi? You don't read. You want children to be remembered? God will remember my daughter, my son and all of you if I go for knowledge. If I go for what? Niko ni mereje za shule. Hata sasa hii mama ananiambia nafanya ende tena nianze shule September ingine. I am reading. Why am I reading for you? <laughs> so that you don't be forgotten. Ni kuna mtu nikutana naye akaniambia amesonga nikamuuliza pastor wako alifika shule kiasi gani? Akaniambia kidato class 2. Nikamwangalia nikamwambia my friend that's why you are praying and nothing is happening. You're not being taught knowledge because the one who's leading you is not going for knowledge. You are you are a reflection of your teacher. Are we clear? Eh. You mwana veniko my standards is what will make you come to my standard. Yeah, it's as simple as that. You will only come to my standard. I can never come to your standard. Where were you? Where were you? What is reflection in Kiswahili? 
Watu wa Kiswahili. What is uh, reflection? Eh? Unafanana na mwenye anakufunza. Unaelewa? Hivyo ndio unafanana eh. Mwenye anakufunza kikani mwenye anakwambia toka shetani. Toka. Pia huko kioma utakuwa unasema toka shetani. Toka shetani. Mimi niliwaambia shetani alishashi. Ako chini. Are we clear? Go for knowledge. Muislamu aombea nje shetani atoke lakini anashinda, si ndio? Eh, mbona tafuti yako na yani nini? No maana watu wanadharau wa Kristo. You're not reading. Okay. Naona vile leo mnaniangalia naona leo nitatoka na security hapa. Kuna venye? Eh? Yeah. Number 4, I'm about to finish. Consider why your children are being taught. Angalia vizuri pale watoto na fu wanafunzo. Umai notice kitu, ah watoto kikuja hapa Sunday school hatai kuenda. Watu wakubaki, si ndio? Kuna vile wanafunzo. Hakuna ah, inafunzo huko yenye sijasoma mimi mwenye. I read everything that been taught. Watu wanachama za Father Abraham had many sons. Wanafaa fuzu ya memory verse. Are we clear? Mtoto unaona mtoto ana kalamu, ana kitabu sababu mzake pia kwa kanisa amekuja bila kalamu na kita? I you know I children are a reflection of their parents. You don't need any prayer. If you see a parent, look at the child, they look alike. Mama amebeba kitabu na Bible kwa kikibe? Kwa kibeti sababu mtoto ana kibeti anakuja hivyo. Amekuja na simu. Yeah? Take notes. Take what? Take notes. Mimi niko na notebook yangu, nipe notebook. Do you, I have all gadgets in my life. I read. Or you think I don't read? Where is that notebook? Where do you leave that notebook? It's in the office. Oh, it was full. Oh, you're in Nigeria. Ni manza in Guinea. Imeja. I take notes. I take notes. My friend, I take what? Consider where your child is being taught. No man na sema ata tota kuata fauti sana. Wait and see. Ni maza maombi now. You wait and see. I get, wazazi depend to mwezi mbili na atoto. Wakikubaki the same kuja mnyambia kwa nekitendele hapa. There's no way they remain the same. Yesterday they prayed for 40 minutes. How many minutes? 40. Lisa janako uneza umo maldika ngapi? Nambianga mbami tuombe tu saya chakula. Chakula ikisha isha. Hakuna kuo? Isaiah 54 verse 13. Consider where you are being taught and your children. Angalia pali unafuzwa. Na tutuwa kwa nafu? Very important. Very, very important. What does he say? Please read for me quickly. Isaiah 54 verse 13. Na watoto wako wote. Mm. Watafundishwa na buwana. Wata nini? Watafundishwa na buwana. Na nini tende itakuwa? Na amani ya watoto wako itakuwa nyingi. Umesikia kwa sema? Na amani yao itakuwa nini? Wakifuzwa. Teach children they will have peace. Watoto sana commit suicide. They are getting into alcohol, drugs, because they are being not taught. Wao kikata kuja kanisa unamuafungia pia wewe. Why don't you come to church? Let them come and learn. For their sake. You, unaza kosana na pastor, hata upendi yopasa nisa, but the teaching can transform your child. Don't let the child home. Amani yao itakua kubwa. Their, great, their peace will be great. Their peace will be great. Pali yauna amani ujafunzo. Ambe jinako pali yauna amani? Ujafunzo. Number five. Tamani kujua mungu chenye anasema. Kuliko chenye watu anasema. Familia yako inasema. Na ayo yote. Desire to know what God says more than what men say or your family. Wengi yetu tunambiwa atikuetu kulilaniwa. Kulikuwa kamuti tukua tunawambea Ikakatu wa ikaleta shi Don't tell your children such things Are we clear? Wacha kawambea toto vitu kama hizo Ito wasaidia Ito wasaidia jim toto Hey Desire to know what God says More than what men say Ni saa toko lipata mtoto before But your destiny is stopped, stopped Are we clear? What God says you will be a success Mtoto ameko, ameumia, nisa, watoto wame act leo. Sidiyo? Wakasema you can return to the father. Tell 
tell your children about what God says, not what you men say or your parents said or your grandfather said. Nikiwa mke wangu niambia mzee. Mimi sifuatangi Mila. Na jasi sisi tupali tumetoka tuko toka Nyanza. Mila ni strong eh? Ah uh, kuna ngamchezo. Ngamea uzuri eh kwa hapo pia. Niambia hakuna manami. Mimi siwezi anza ndoa na Mila. And I've never wasted my time telling my children or your grandfather or the Zakas. No, we don't have time for that. We tell them they are blessed people. They are what? What wazuri wanasonga mbele. We don't tell them. Why should you tell your children about curses? How will it help them? Mtoto na mea, kwetu, wanaume wote wanakonga vipofu. Hata mini wana nikifika 50 takuwa kipofu. We have family sickness. Family what? Kwetu tunakonga na high blood pressure. Kwetu tunakonga nini? Hata mimi mami leo sikuzi nasikia rangu ina gonga sana nasikia joto imepanda. What are you telling your children? You lack wisdom. Mm. Why should you tell your children you have high blood pressure? Mimi niko na pressure. Hata shosho wenu alikuwa na pressure. Shosho wa shosho wenu alikuwa na pressure. Shosho wa shosho wa shosho wenu alikuwa na pressure. Shosho wa shosho wa shosho wa shosho wenu alikuwa na pressure. Hata wewe naona una pressure takumaliza pia wewe. What is that? Oh, Haya, John chapter 10 verse 27 to 28 29 John John chapter 10 verse 27 to 29 Please read it quickly Nisema hivi Kondo wangu wa isikia sauti yangu Na mina wajua Na wanifuata Na mina wapa uzima wa milele Wala hawata potea kamwe Wala hakuna mtu atakaye wapokonya katika mkono wangu Baba yangu alienipa hao ni mku kuliko wote Wala hakuna mtu awezae kuwapokonya katika mkono wa baba yangu Unasikia ongea jia wa mungu they will not be sick. Jana watoto hapa niliwaambia you can never be sick. Nikamwambia they pray for their body. They prayed for their eyes. They prayed for their nose. They prayed for their stomach. I told them they don't have malaria. They don't have typhoid. Even alikuwa na bwana Jana. Sababu najua kitoka hapa mama yake anamwambia yeye ni typhoid. Yeye ni malaria. What are you sending to your children? That's not like that. You are healthy in the name of Jesus. Ninaambia chenye Mungu amesema Nikwambia waambia akili zao you will be number 1 in your class you will be success in your class yeah. Even kwa tu ndomba jana i am telling them because nime realize wengine wako tu na hiyo mama yao tu si ndio ya mama yao shida anakaa tu kama mama yao hivi umepata mtoto ni mdogo ameshika tamaa kwa mama mtu mzee unashangaa ameshika tamaa kwa nini mtoto ni mdogo ameanza kuwa na wrinkles stress hatia kwa na stress kama mama yake what are you teaching your children teach them what god says yeah, that is your family. Teach them what God says. Me wangu na jana nza leta vita kwa nyumba. Say me anything contrary. No matter what did you say, I said I'm sorry, Daddy. It was slip of the tongue. Yeah, you corrected very fast. We are not sick in this family in Jesus' name. That's how we pray. We don't have any curse in our family in the name of Jesus Christ. We believe we are blessed people. Ambi watoto sisi hiyo laana ya babu yenu naona nikae na wafuata pia nyinyi. Mumeza kuhubiriwa na watu wa laana. Ndio maana una believe la? Mimi siobori laana. Mimi najua Mungu aliweka uhuru. Mmebarikiwa. Hauna laana katika jina la Yesu. Hmm? Am I talking nasema ukweli hapa? Ah ah yeah. Naona nikam take kuniongelea chama sawa acha nyamaze. Number 6. Stop comparison. Wacha ku Buko na mtoto watoto watatu unawa compare. Don't compare children. Don't go what? Wisdom does not compare. Wisdom inajua tafauti. Ekime inajua nini? Stop comparing your family with the neighbor. Stop comparing children. Even in this means I have never compared anyone with it. I always know everyone has a different strength. Muta anaza kuja ni mbaya. Lakina jua munga nafanyanga na kwa mzuri zaidi. I don't compare you. Stop comparing. I have two children. I will never compare my daughter and my son. Never. There are two individuals. She don't to appear to compare. Angalia nini kondani yao. Uyo mtoto anaweza kuletea uhuru. Unaelewa? Uyo mtoto na mwangdharau huyo anaweza kuletea uhuru. Don't compare. Unasema yenda au mwisho aende shule. Hapana. If you are taking children to school, take them all together. Stop comparison. 
Amen? Amen? Yes, Psalms chapter 127, verse 3 to 4. You can read that on your side. Number seven, teach yourself and teach your children to honor the ministry of men of God. Fundisha watoto wako na jifunze kuheshimu huduma ya mtumishi wa Mungu. Amen? Huduma nini? Huduma ya mtumishi wa Mungu. Kama we una heshima kwa watumishi wa Mungu, watakao takosa nini? Watakosa heshima. I see how children talk to me here. I know the parents have never taught them how to honor men of God. They don't until I was telling her, I, what a judge, I think I was telling you, when we, sisi tukizaliwa, mtumishu wa mungu, sonu tulukuna mongresha, mongresha yu kawaida, amo chisa, mimi mtota rakuja kwa ofisi yangu, mstana mdogo, bado ni teenager, aniambie, anataka ni muawe, kimaiza shule. I was shocked. I call a kirapa, very fast. Can you tell a man to go something like that? That is lack of teaching at home. Henry, I'm available to be married or to marry. Oh, which one is it? I call her. I say, hey, Ekinapa, at this rate, someone can, I can be, I can be arrested in this house. Hey, I can be arrested. I tell her everything. That is lack of fear of the Lord. You don't fear men of God. You can tell them anything you want to tell them. Sabu wewe mama pia kwa nyumba unangia vibaji wa mtumishu wa mungu. Ayana apuwa na yekibu. Imagine a girl told me that. I, I said, she knows I have a wife. She said, I'm a Jew. I 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 said, I'm a single. I said, I'm a Jew. Teach your children to honor men of God. They can put a curse on themselves like that carelessly. Some of you talk to men of God as if they, they are late. Because you know Bible, you don't have my grace. Are we clear? You don't have my grace, my friend. I can bring a curse on you for no reason. I was shocked. I called her. Thank you for always being around. That's why I keep this young girl around. Because, eh, na, that's, hey, nakwambia mimi ni mwona kidogo. Na najifunza kidogo. Jojo siniache. Na sasagina itaji waze kwa karibu na mimi. Eh? Aki, tukai tuma moja. Hai, mina wana hii pressure. <laughs> you have not taught your children. Mtoto ataona mkuchumtumisho mesumama, amekachi. Because you sit down, also yourself. When a man of God stands, you stand. Is it true? Mkutumisho wa munga kikuja, so unasimama, unacha na pita. Wangina natembia tuna ye. Oh, when they say is... That's why they can't talk against pastors outside there. They have not taught them how to honor men of God. You are putting lack of knowledge in the mind of your children. No man of anacha kuja kanisa. They don't fear. They have no respect. And I'll go pay MCA kuli kum tumisho mungu. Sina sema ukweli? Ama sina sema ukweli? Asa kami na tongozo kwa ofisi yangu live. Thank you for always being there. Can we clap for Ikiraba please? Ine, you don't know what I go through. Uyo mtoto aneza kuja seme kiti yote. I, some of you will believe without knowing. You, without you knowing what was happening. So, do you agree I should be married? Or, uh, because I don't want to marry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nadani sabu nilitua pete. Iyo pete wacha kidoli ipoe ni bavai pete tena. Mibi, inaza kunifutia watu. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want people in prayer. Amen. Mami, no one ever fought to all. Funza wa tatuwe ni kweshimu. Watumishu wa mu. A man of God calls you. Respect. How you respond. Yeah, pastor. Uwasema nini? Tutoka na kusikia tu. Sikia yu kusikia. Yeah, pastor. Uwasema nini? Fear. How can you? You can you tell your pastor something like that? You can. You can, eh? Hey. Na liniambia haku ogopa? Liniambia, pasa ata kuza kitu, niambia nini? Number five, number seven, number eight, sorry. Sorry, I needed to say that. So that you know what you are doing at home. 
is a joke. Stop playing with your guns as if they are toys. Be serious with your children. Be serious with them. Discipline them if they need to discipline them. If they need to be in charge, they should be what? If they need to go back home, they go back. Don't take them like a neighbor's child. Like a total squeeze on a kwanga ivio. Akuna a total squeeze on a kwanga ivio. Si tu lipigwa, tu lifunjika. Can you lift up your hands and thank God for my wife, please, for me? She's going through a lot. Sometimes understanding these things. Lord, give her wisdom. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Najua mwingine mtaki kumuambia ni kini sawa tu. Kini najua. Lord, just ngeo kwa mkwa mtu kama mimi so raisi. Unelewa? It's not easy. Sabu nukuna vitu na mwambia. Hata zingine na shangani naza kumuambia aje. So I'll find a way. Naza kuzunguka polepo. Sabu anaza, anaza kasirika chukie mtu kabisa. Lakia anafaa pende watu. Anafaa nini? Hata kama umekosea kiasi gani. Na nini mwambia ni nani? Nani kamambia atanisha kumambia. Usi mkasirike mpe. Pende. Because that's what the Bible expresses of her. Nothing less. Nothing less. Either she's hot or hot. She needs to. She needs to love. She needs to love. For the sake of my ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you clap for her again? Hey. Ama ni kupei tawel. Upanguse na yojashu. Number eight. Develop a culture of being in the house of God. Develop a culture of being in the house of God. Okay. Develop what? Develop a culture. You utasuma peki yanko? Second Samuel 6. Samuel ya pili. Mlangu wa sita wa msari wa kumina moja di kumina bili. Jifunze kukawa nyumba ya bwa? Jifunze kukuja nyumba ya bwana. Number nine. Hii mwambia mara nyingi sana. Tumikia bwa? Tumikia nani? Sai wanawake wana wanasumamia ushering na kuosha kanisa Saturday, si ndio? Vijana wanasumamia kwaya na nini? Technical. Wazee wanasumamia security. Wewe tafuta pale utumikie Bwana. Wacha kukujaza tu kanisa. Ambie jana wacha kujaza kanisa. Utumikie Bwana. Mwambie ukweli. Ari kama ana kasirika chori zake. Eh? Mwambie wacha kujaza na utumikie Bwana. Stu. That one you can unaweza soma katika Joshua 24:15. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. As for me and my house, we shall serve we shall serve the Lord. Ndio maana hata nikuja maombi, nikapewa msichana wangu, lazima kuja maombi akona maka sita saa sikatai, ni mdogo, nilikuwa lakini nilimwona kiomba. Na alikuwa amescape, unaona pale hendu umekaa? Eh, nilikuwa amekaa hapo mbele ndio nimeona kama amefoja funga macho. Naambia funga macho uombe. Kila mtu anao Ukifika kanisani ya kuna tidadi, dadi, dadi. I'm your man of God. Cooperate. Cooperate. And then your mission. Introduce salvation in your house. Introduce Jesus. Mkubalisha yesu ndanya nyumba ya? Nyumba yako. Luke chapter 19, verse 8 to 10. Wengi wetu ata tujika matu tutu wa miyokoka ukweli. Amba wana kujanga tu kanisa na sisi. Lisa jirani yako tutuwa miyokoka amba wana kujanga tu kanisa na we. Introduce salvation. Introduce it. John. Sorry, Luke. Luca, kumi na tisa. Sorry, wanani adi kumi. Wah, thank God. What does he say? Mswaili wangu. Mzungu, mzungu, tusome ya raka raka. Hallelujah. Asa wabimbi. Zakaya kasi, mama. Haka muambia buwana. Atazama, buwana. Nusu ya mali yangu na wapa maskini. Na ikiwa ni menyanganya mtu kitu kwa hila na mrudishia mara nne. Yesu haka muambia, leo ukuvu umefika nyumbani humu. Kwa sababu huyu nae ni mwana wa Ibrahimu. Kwa kuwa mwana wa Adamu alikuja kutafuta na kuokoa kile kilicho potea. Amen. 